Hi you guys, it's Stephanie with Coffee, Paper, Scissors. It is Pocket Wednesday, would you believe? I am almost finished. In fact, this will be the end of this book. I need to put something here on the front. And so it's nothing that you guys haven't seen before, but I sat here and I thought for a while, and because I have such a narrow little space, I just decided to do a library um, pocket. And, but I was going to make it out of paper. So in case you guys, you know, want to have a library pocket, but you want it to be colorful, I just sat and played with a scrap piece of paper for a little bit to um, make it work. So this, if you notice, it has a little edge, you know, here, and then around it here, and then, you know, make it fit your page. So I had this scrap and I just cut it. I, I mean, measurements aren't gonna do so well because everybody's page is going to be different, but this was from a 12 by 12 that I had used, you know, something else. Um, I imagine this is 12 inches. So it's 12 inches this way. I folded this down so that you would have a decorative paper instead of white paper. So that's all that is. And then you just have to cut a bigger square for it to fold up and then fold over so that you have your little gaps here. So again, it looks a little something like this. And I'm sorry the directions aren't better than that, but again, it really is going to depend on your book page. Now, I folded this down for some strength. Let's go ahead and glue this. Man, I am having the biggest trouble. I think maybe I have destroyed my tip from cleaning it because now every time I use it, I feel like I have to clean it. And I've just filled it. So I know the glue is good, but oh my goodness, I even took my tip off, cleaned it really good with water, made sure every single bit was out of the, the glue. But I don't know if when I'm cleaning it, I'm scraping it and it's causing the glue to stick there and dry but it's happening a lot all of a sudden and it's really driving me crazy. Okay, so I had this paper here for gluing on it. My my um, my craft board doesn't look fabulous, but it is fairly clean. And, you know, I suppose we can glue this down. It doesn't have to Have a lot of glue because it's going to be held in place with the pocket itself. Okay, let's do a little bit of inking while we have it right at this stage. And then we're going to ink this. Actually, I'm going to round these corners. Hopefully my glue isn't so wet that it just doesn't work. Actually, most of that isn't going to show, just the top part. And then you would just ink here. And here. Okay. So there's the pocket itself. Now, it actually gives you a little bit more room because you know normally if you glue a pocket down, you're gluing the you're putting the glue here and you glue it down, which makes your pocket more narrow than it would be. But on this one, since you're gluing it to the back, it gives you a little bit bigger pocket. So that's kind of nice. You know what I intended to do? I intended to go like this to help whatever goes in the pocket not get stuck so much. All right. So 
so now what goes in here has all the way to the fold. I think it looks pretty good. I didn't bring myself something to wipe glue with. And then I have very simple decoration here. I have this circle and I'm gonna try and go center with it. And we'll glue it in and then I have a couple of things to make to put in. And I came down a little bit on it just on purpose because I'm gonna add a flower here. I mean, a, a butterfly. I wanted to have room for the butterfly. Um, okay, so my my Pocket Wednesday book will finally be completely finished and I don't plan on doing any more Pocket Wednesdays because I've run out of ideas. But that doesn't mean there aren't ideas. It's just that if I tried to start another Pocket Wednesday, it would stress me out really bad to try and come up with a new idea each week for a pocket. So I think that what I might do is I might make another book, but have it just be an idea book. Um, because when I was working on this, I did come up with an idea. So actually, let's get this glued in. And I'm like, oh, well, shoot, I don't have any book to put it in right now. Okay, so this is going to go right here. And we're going to, I have something to put back in here and... I think that what I'm gonna do is just put glue down here to give it more space so it's not quite so tight if I glued all the way here, you know, cause it'll make it more narrow. So I think what I'm gonna do is just as close to the edge as I can to give myself more, more pocket space because it's gonna be a narrow tag. So yeah, I think I might start an idea book. And then I don't know if I'll do a weekly idea book thing. It, it just depends. I depends. I just really don't know. Something to think about. I did get a, a request to do a final flip through um, of this journal. So I will probably do that final flip through next Wednesday. Okay, so this will be the tag that goes in the back. Let me get my paper back out here. Oop, I just dropped that tiny little butterfly. And they're glued down. And see, I wanna figure out where I want her. And I wanted to put this behind her think thinking over just a little bit and then I'm going to hold this and cut this part off and I might use it somewhere else on the tag. I didn't know for sure until, until doing this. I, I just don't know what it's gonna look like. So I wasn't sure if I would do it or not. Like to have it coming over here or something. Let's see what we think. Maybe higher so it's not hitting me. tiny little butterfly I just thought I would put down here because it'll show up more okay I think that's good I think I want there's a little bit of a leaf down here I don't think I want that there
Okay. So you guys know I like to I like to mark down here so I know this is a place that's going to be covered. So I, I know that way that's where I want that. Let's see if my glue works. I probably should have put the lid on it. See if that's where I want this thing. I think it's a pretty good spot for it. Do I want it hanging off just a bit more? Maybe? No? It's fine. It's fine. So just up a couple. Okay. Hope you don't mind doing this with me. My videos tend to be a little shorter lately. So I thought it would be a little bit longer video if I did the pocket and a tag and a journaling card to go in it with you guys. And I think I want her hanging off just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and do this so I don't just, I don't get glue everywhere. And then glue her down. So, um, I don't know if you guys have noticed that I haven't been very consistent with my videos lately and uh, I'll tell you why, um, I always fumble with my words. That's one reason why <laughs> it was stressing me out really bad. You guys, I actually have dreams about it and it was, um, it's always fun to me, but when I don't have an idea and I think I have no idea what I'm going to make a video about tomorrow, or I might know what I'm doing craft wise, but it's not something that I can necessarily do an easy video. And so I, I would actually stress out and dream about it. And, um, I'm like, my goodness, I need to quit stressing myself out. This is supposed to just be fun for me, not, you know, a stressful situation. And I would think, you know, why is it that I don't get good ideas very often? You know, like, I'm not saying good ideas. Uh, see, here I am fumbling with words again. Like, I, I feel like I was always struggling to come up with something to make a video about. And then the dreams would stress me out. And then it would almost shut me down creatively. And so I decided, I was like, you know what? I'm only going to make a video if I have something to make a video about. And as soon as I made that decision, you guys, I quit having the dreams. And you cannot even understand how much of a relief that was. The dreams weren't about vid uh, videos or crafting. It was about um, like things not happening in the right amount of time. My dreams would be, oh, we're supposed to be going here and why are none of you ready to go? And then I look down and I realize I'm not ready to go either, you know? Or, hey, we're gonna catch a plane and, but we didn't even leave for the airport yet. We're supposed to be on the airplane in 15 minutes. I was constantly having dreams like that and they were stressing me out. And it didn't occur to me that it could be the video making that was doing it, but I am positive now that that is exactly what it was. And so I think I made the right decision to kind of um, ease off a little bit. And so that that's why I'm, if, if you paid any attention and noticed 
that I'm not around as much. That is definitely why. And oh my goodness, you guys, the the people, the creators who can do it every day, that's amazing. I mean, I am just so impressed uh, that they they have the, the, I don't know, like the ideas um, to, to do. And, you know, it's really impressive, really impressive. And I, I do have moments where I'm like, oh, I have all these things and I'll do like lots of videos in a row, videos in a row. And then my, my brain goes completely blank. I don't know if I like the shape of my cuts, but that's okay. We'll just kind of play with it a little bit and twist it. That's better. I always, I never know which way to cut them. Okay, so she's really cute, I think. Um, so yes, that's what's been going on with me. I've been taking little breaks and trying to make a video here and there. I've also been trying to catch up on things such as this. I've had, I'm not one to have a lot of unfinished projects. I'm a, I'm a finisher, um, but I did have a few and this was one of them. Just one more pocket was all this thing needed <laughs> and it's been months. And I think very often the, somebody who wanted a flip through of it, she requested quite a while ago and I'm like, oh no, and that stressed me out because I wasn't, you know, doing it. <laughs> so all of that to say, I don't want to quit doing videos. I just don't want to stress out about doing videos. And of course, because of that, then I noticed that my views have gone down a lot because people who were like, oh, she's always got a video up. Then all of a sudden I didn't have a video up for like two weeks, I think. And, um, you know, I totally understand. And you, people start watching something else and then, but that causes a little bit of stress too, because I'm like, oh, all that work <laughs> and I lost viewers, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. It's not the most important thing in the world. So, I don't know, maybe I'll have that hang off now. I'm just going to have it down here. I just needed something right in there, but I didn't want more pattern because I've got the music paper there. But this will be two videos in a row this week. And then I have an idea of what I'm going to make next, but I have to kind of get started on it to see if I have the right paper for it. I don't know if I do. What else? Ran to Costco today for a couple things. It wasn't too busy in there, so that was nice. And they have self-checkout now. I don't go to Costco very often. And um, so the self-checkout was not there the last time I was in. But it's there now, so I used the self-checkout. That was fine. I know some people don't like self-checkout. They say it takes jobs. I actually asked, and, and maybe it does, and maybe it's wrong of me to use it. Um, I asked somebody one time, though, at a store, and I said, so do you guys like that you have self-checkout, or do you not like it? And they said they all liked it. So, and honestly, I see, sometimes I see the registers that are open, that there's nobody at them. This is at my local store, not at a Walmart. My goodness, there are, there's always a need for a cashier at Walmart, but at my local store. Please don't get mad at me for using the um, self-checkout. <laughs> All right. So let's poke them in and see how it looks. So I made this to go down in here. So that's cute. It has a little bit of the color, you know, to pull in. Of course, it's going to be mostly covered. And this hopefully goes in easily. But that was one thing that I was a little worried about with the, um, the little things folded over in the back on how well it would go in. And, you 
know, it struggles a little bit, but it goes. And this is for me. This is my journal. I'm keeping it for my own reference. We're going to have her head sticking out just a little bit. But there you go. You can make your own library pocket, and it doesn't have to be plain paper. It can be really pretty paper. Okay, you guys, it is finished. I might decorate it a little bit. I was thinking about making a, um, a really pretty tassel to hang off of it. So I might do that with you guys, I'm not sure. But I might add something like a flower and a label. I don't know. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.